Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Felicia, everybody calls me Flick. Please excuse the appalling state of my skin today. Um, apparently I had a couple of breakouts, including a spot right there underneath uh, my lip and I couldn't leave it alone apparently and I caught it earlier um, with my nail <laughs> as it was healing. Um, it looks worse on camera than it is, it's just very red. Um, but yeah, they're healing, it's just in that annoying awkward stage but it's fine it doesn't matter it's life it happens and I'm kind of annoyed about it just because my skin's been quite clear for a while so it was bound to happen but yeah um today is the last in spin the wheel but we're not spinning the wheel because there's only one palette left um which is the amethyst the w7 soft hues amethyst palette which looks like this Let me open it up so it looks like this. So pretty, obviously, dupe for the Huda Pastel Lilac. Yeah, Lilac palette. So yeah, um, pardon me. I'm not taking a sip of tea before I turn my camera on. Um, we're gonna be playing with this today. I'm gonna go off. I'm going to flip my camera. Also, just realize um, I can actually adjust my ring light because it's on a desktop stand. I can actually adjust the um bracket all this time i've just been flipping my camera around or, or down where i can actually do it on the bracket which will probably help with my swatches and the lighting situation i feel really stupid for doing this all year and i'm only just realizing this now so i'm probably going to try that <laughs> so yeah uh if you haven't already do not forget to like and subscribe and also my social channels are all up here uh, all the same at the fierce beauty xox um, so yeah, please do head over and give those all a like. TikTok again is blowing up still. Seems to be the same two videos. Um, this last kind of week or so, uh, it's still my High School Musical and Descendants ones. Although people are getting very touchy about the High School Musical one because it's only High School Musical 3. I didn't make the audio. I literally got sent it to recreate. I, I didn't make the audio. Um, but yeah, that's weird. So yeah, um, I'm also going to go and do my first live on there tonight. So when I go off camera here to go do the rest of my makeup, I'm going live on TikTok for the first time now that I can. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup on there and then come back for the last stuff on here. So this should be fun tonight. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a minute to do some swatches and then we'll get into the look. Well, this feels incredibly strange. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit more. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so here we are. Let's bring the palette in. So. Obviously, there's nothing on my arm, as usual. I'm really worried about pressing too hard into these shimmer shades. I don't want it to bring them up too much like it did on the other one. I'm loving these marbled ones though. Well, I'm sad this one's only got one. Not expecting this to show off my arm, but hey. Yeah. Okay, so that is them. I will be back in a second with the swatches, uh, not the swatches, the video from my phone. Right, I am back. Right, first things first, I'm going to take the darkest shade in the bottom corner. And I'm going to pack that through my, well, I don't know already, but um, that is there. <laughs> I 
got a good feeling about this one. Uh, if I said that on the last video, I think. But out of all three of them, I feel like this one is the one. I should probably drink it, let's be real, but hey -ho. Um, and I'm going to just do that, like, my inner and outer corners with it because I am going to be doing a halo. I did contemplate doing a cut crease, but I've already done like a full purple cut crease. Um, and I just kind of fancy doing a bit, something a bit different if I'm honest. Little bit, um, no shade, but I'm a little bit shocked at how well that's actually come out. I just realised I haven't got my ear in. I wonder why it's so quiet. I need earbuds. That's why. Okay, now I've taken that one, I'm going to take. Do I go straight in with a light one? No. Um, I'm going to take the first one up here. Um, I should probably shouldn't take that one, should I? Take that, um, and just buff that over the edge of that first shade. Okay. <laughs> I like where this is going. And they actually blend really nicely and really easily into each other as well, which is nice. Nice. And then I'm going to take the lightest one in the bottom corner. And I'm just going to blend that one out with that. Well played, W7. Okay, so so far, um, the hardest shades to formulate, <laughs> which are the purples, um, are really good. So, well done. <laughs> I'm a little bit sure, I'm going to go back into that second shade again and just bring that back a little bit. Um, I do have a feeling that, um, I could take a tiny bit of that first shade again, sorry. Um, I've got my little sponge applicator out because I have a feeling that we may have the same thing with those shimmers as we have with the other two, which again isn't a problem, doesn't bother me, um, because I know how to make them work. Um, so yeah, just... Laying down a bit of my paper space. Oh, question now. I have a. F mm. Right, let me just. Kind of. Mm. Right, I want to use the marble shade, but I want to use the orange shimmer as well. I think I'm going to go in with the marbled one first and then I will use the orange one maybe like more in the centre. Or maybe I'll use the orange one in my inner corner. That'd be different. We'll see. I'm going to use that marbled one first on my sponge because we all know how this is going to go. Do you know what? Actually, I'll give it a try first on a brush. Okay, so I'm going to 
Okay, this one looks better, but still needs. Yeah, no, I'm still going in with the sponge. I just feel that these types work better. And my finger. I mean, still, finger probably gives the best payoff, which again, you know, nothing new. That probably goes for all um, shimmery shadows, to be fair. Um, I don't really want to kind of use that orange on, though. I prefer to try and get that on the brush. I wonder will it pick up. Oh, this one, It's really hard to get my fingerprint. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go and do everything else on TikTok. This is going to be really strange. Um, so I'll be back and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm really worried, not going to lie. Kind of petrified. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in a bit. Wish me luck. Hi guys, I am back. Um, so I've just finished my TikTok live. Um, I'll turn this down a bit. It wasn't as um, terrifying as I thought it was going to be, which was quite nice. Um, really awkward when people are like, just say, just come on, don't say anything. I did have like a few people commenting, which was quite nice. Um, so yeah, I thought it was, it was alright. Um, I kind of shit of new followers while I was on there, so it was quite funny. Um, but yeah, people were quite kind on there, so that was nice. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd come on and we'd finish finish the look um so yeah i should have left some of these bloody brushes out really shouldn't i i'm gonna take the darkest purple i'm actually really impressed with the mats in this i will say like really surprised. Um. 
Okay, then I'm going to take the medium matte purple. Just kind of tiny bit of that. And then I'll take the lightest one. Why does that sound like curious, but it can't be so good? Take the lightest one. Ooh, two King George songs, one after the other. What did I do to get that? I just realised I really overlong my lips on that side. I'm going to fix that because it's going to really annoy me. Um, I can't decide if I want to use gloss or anything if I want to leave it. I'm kind of tempted just to leave it, if I'm honest. But then I've done a lot of matte lately. Might leave it for now. I need to just decide what I'm doing. Oh, my waterline, actually. Go with the purple. That is, for all intents and purposes, this look done. I think. The only thing I'm still iffy on is. Ow. Oh, this hurts. The only thing I still can't decide on is whether or not I want to put a gloss on. Um, just on the. Thing of I've done obviously I, I do matte lip 90% of the time um, <clears throat> I'm gonna where is it oh that smells like cow pole oh, like I mean it's clear but it's got like a pearlescent reflect to it my hand starts tingling, <laughs> I will laugh. And then I've got this MAC lip gloss, which is part of the stuff that I got from Tammy, which is a beautiful gold kind of top right, lip. Is it going to focus or what? not so yeah i don't know i can't get out of the smell mm. i don't know i think i'm gonna leave it for now i'm gonna take the photos and then i'm gonna go and ask my husband and see what he says um oh, i don't know because either way or i'll I'll take some without anything on and then I'll go and ask him which one. I can't go if that smells like cowpole. No, I do want that just because it smells like cowpole, even though I can't have cowpole because it's paracetamol. I'm allergic to paracetamol for anyone. Um who didn't already know that. Random fact about me. Um So the gold looked pretty, but then the other one, oh, oh. I don't know. Either way, I hope you like the way this turned out. I am really pleased with this one. Uh, out of all three, I think that's probably impressed me the most. I'd say that one, then Aquamarine, and then Rose Quartz, probably at the bottom of my uh, the three for me. Um, yeah, even the shimmers perform better. Yes, I still had to use the sponge applicator, but even so the fact that any of them even picked up on a brush or oh, was impressive for me um the pigment payoff for those purples there was no patchiness there was no issues blending 
they layered fine cannot argue that at all like there was no issues at all i was so impressed um so yeah by far i think out of all three of those that is my favorite one um so yeah very very happy i hope you like the way it's turned out i think it looks really really nice i really like it i'm really happy with it and yeah um i don't really know what else to say to be honest with you um i'm gonna love you and leave you and i will see you all in the next one whatever i decide to film next time we'll close i guess we're just gonna have to wing it i will see you all in the next one i love you all and i'll see you soon Mwah. bye